My name is Dr. Rush and this is the covariance matrix in Excel. In this example you will need the analysis add-in installed. We will use matrices to calculate the portfolio return and variance so we will need the covariance matrix of the risky assets. Select the risk premium data. Make sure that the time series of risk premia are adjacent to each other and that there are no hidden columns. Use the analysis add-in to calculate the covariance matrix. Excel will only calculate the lower triangle of the covariance matrix, but the covariance matrix is symmetric around the diagonal of variances. We will need to complete the matrix by filling in the upper triangle in order to use it in our matrix calculations. Copy the lower triangle and use Paste Special. Then transpose to paste it in another part of the worksheet. Copy this upper triangle and paste special back into the original data. Be sure to use the skip blanks option, otherwise you'll paste over your original data. The complete covariance matrix will have the number of rows and columns equal to the number of risky assets. In this example, it is 10 by 10.